Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bringing to Star Twinkle Pretty Kids movie, Wish Upon a Song of Stars. Okay, so this came out for me, I want to say sometime last week, and I was like, you know what? Well, since we're probably not going to get the next two episodes of Star Twinkle Pretty Kids for like maybe sometime this week, because of the fact that the person who is subbing them, um, went on a break for Christmas, I got that and stuff, and I was like, okay, I was like, well, this is out, I was like, maybe it would be nice, but the one thing that I did find out about this, um, the Japanese and English subtitles are actually in this video, so you'll see both, like, when it's backwards, you'll see the English <laughs> titles of Japanese characters, um, also, this will be in part, so in this video, I will be watching the first 49 minutes and 59 seconds, and then in the second half, um, it'll be the last 21 minutes. I did take out the, um, toy animation logo. So, just so you know, it's, like, right where the movie starts. And then, if you're probably wondering, like, what the heck happened. But there you go. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with part one. In three, two, one, go. Huh, there's another logo, but that's okay. That's fine. They put two additional logos up in it. <laughs> that's funny. It's cute, though. That's okay. <laughs> I think if I probably would have cut that, too, it would have been a lot shorter, but it's okay. So pretty. Why do I feel like I'm gonna get Pokemon feels? Or you know, okay. Oh my god. Um, you know how like oh my god, what Poke? There's so many Pokemon movies where like one of the new Pokemon comes and one of the trainers gets like attached to it. Oh my god, and then it's like hard to say goodbye. I'm not ready for that. If the movie's gonna, this movie's gonna do this. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, I forgot she was going to be in this. <laughs> hmm? 
Y'all saw that, right? It's interesting that they, out of all the characters, they pick her because she's like the last one they have to deal with because everybody. No. The cat talk. They have to go. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, puppy? <sighs> They're front of me. And she just left the rest of them. <laughs> so are you just basically telling me that Cosmo's going to be gone for like the most of the movie? <laughs> uh huh. But you have a star in here. So then where the heck is Lala gonna say? I mean, she can't say what he gotta do. She can say what any of them and just be like, oh, there we go. Didn't change program. Sleepover. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, because Elena and Monica, they wake up on time. Wanna get down? I am too, honestly. <laughs> uh, you don't wanna eat that one. Hmm? 
Well, at least you got to school. Yeah, the star is the issue. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, the thing that got in your hand or in the fire. <laughs> Don't open it like oh. Thank you. Darn it. Okay, now it was only protecting itself from the cat, that's all. But I don't think it's bad. Maybe it's just afraid. <laughs> yeah, but you technically almost got your answer there. <laughs> Yeah, it might be a while since we see them. Is the uh, oh oh is it seriously gonna take them to Okinawa, Bruh. Like that ass. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> because you're in Okinawa. No, what's a fool? Mm, you so fluffy, fluffy boy. Ah! 
sweetie. That's weird. It won't work for you. <laughs> Might as well walk over there. That too. And now I'm just getting grand blue feels. Mom and dad on vacation without the kids. But. Sit up, baby, please. I'm sorry. Anywhere. Did you see Fua? Ain't that funny? <laughs> Say sorry. Mama.
Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's true. Not everybody is nice. You know it's gonna follow you. Huh? Well, that's all she had to do. I know, but what are we going to name it? (laughs) You know. At a Y. Okay. <laughs> Aww.
Nah, they still in space, traveling. Maybe even taking a break somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it seems lonely, even though it's friends with you guys, but I think it wants to be with its kind. That was too freaking adorable, oh my god. So cute! Where else do you want to go? <laughs> These girls are literally gonna go everywhere. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so
Oh, finally. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Where are your handcuffs? <laughs> oh. Yes, yeah, gone. It's been gone for a while. Press <laughs> behind spaceship. <clears throat> Bad guys, right? Had to be space hunters. That means they're going to be after Yuma first. Oh, don't worry, they're going to come back. Mm -hmm. This one. <laughs> oh, he got me for that. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, no. This is the end of the world. <laughs> oh, God. I can't. That just made my stomach hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. So are there like seven days? See, I remember the first time seeing that picture on um, Twitter, and I made a comment. <laughs> I think my comment was, yeah, I remember what my comment was. I said, out of the five girls, four look good, and one of them didn't, and I think everybody knows who it is. <laughs> it is obvious, honestly, but still. You know, me on Twitter, while it over the show. <laughs> Oh, God. Mm -hmm. 
Well, now you have. <laughs> you mean the green looking robot thing? So five, five and five. Also, can we talk about the quality of this movie? I mean, we know the quality of the anime is good, but I mean, because of the fact that they got a bigger budget for this movie, I mean, Jesus, like, every Pretty Cure movie looks, like, phenomenal to the TV show. I mean, my God. They just add, like, so much pizzazz to it. Chris. You're serious? <laughs> you would have a force field. Mm -hmm. Guys, you just met your match. No, it's the wrong thing. Behind you. Of course. Uh. 
Oh, God. Are you seriously? Do you know how hard it's going to be to just defeat something like that? One left. Yeah, see, two OP. Okay, well, why don't you go ahead and explain, okay? Best treasure in the universe. All right, explain why the star drop, Yuma, is the best in the universe. Can she, like, make a wish or some ish? That's all y'all care about is bunny. <laughs> It's just an animal with feelings. Oh, Cody, I'm sorry. I still trying. I mean, but hold up, we're not even at the end of the movie yet. We're like, I'm on like five minutes left. This gives me feels towards like okay. If any of you have seen Fairy Tale and know of Lucy, like uh I can't bad girl.
Nice try, though. Freaking thing, you look like a goddess. I can't. <laughs> you ma They're gonna have to take them, yeah. I know that little thing. <laughs> mhm. Mm could possibly explode. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey, um, they're getting out. Okay, all right. That's a weird part to pause on. I'm sorry, though. Okay, so we get the fact that this little cute, adorable thing, Yuma, is going to turn into a planet. And if it gets in the wrong hands, it could become a dangerous star. Possibly destroy, like, maybe the entire universe and ish like that. But, like, I understand the fact that Lala wants to be responsible and protected. I get that. She's very much like how, um... In really almost like any of the Pokemon movies, I would say when the voice acting um, was not top tier before it went to a different company, 
Um, because the, the the Pokemon Ranger movie. That's what I, I can think of that one. That one, Jirachi Mitchell, uh, Wishmaker, where both um May and Max had a relationship. May had a, a relationship with the weird kind of water as Pokemon. I don't remember the name. Um, while Max had a um a friendship with uh Jirachi. And it was really hard for them to say goodbye. And the fact is, even though they didn't want to do it, that's what Lala is currently having right now because she really wants to protect Yuna, um, Yuma from like anything and everything. But the thing is, it's as of right now, it's not possible for her to do it. You're literally sacrificing yourself to protect this thing. I get it. You love it just like anyone else would love a pet um, or anything. And you want to protect it to the ends of the earth. But as... Um, What's her face said it would be better off to go with her into the police station so that she can find a different way. And that's why she had the Miracle Light for such a long time. I think it's really interesting how with the Miracle Light, especially with this movie, they make it so it's like very meta in a way. I mean, each movie with the Pretty Cure, they make it meta in like some weird sentence. There's always like one person who keeps it or it pops out for like some weird reason. But like with <laughs> the character in this series and how she's only overall in this series since the series is going to be done next month um she's only been in the show maybe a couple of times and then she gets maybe more a bigger development in the movie and how she's been keeping this miracle light for a while and how it's just like out of nowhere and it's like that just being meta <laughs> in like some way for and be like oh yeah here's a light that everybody else can use to just keep this cute little thing you know protective but you can see that the freaking hunters are literally getting out. The leader is slowly getting out. So you know he's going to, like, try to take Yuma, like, while they're having a conversation in the last 21 minutes that I have left of this movie. But honestly, for the first half, it was really good. I love the fact that they got to travel to vast different places. I mean, they went to, like, two or three places that I would love to go to myself. I mean, I didn't think that they would have, like... I think around the time a couple months ago, but I think like October ish, like the beginning of October, my birthday month, they showed um the stuff in the um opening and stuff, and they showed the place where it's literally the water and then the sky and the way the water looks. It looks like it's also the sky, and you're like in the middle of nowhere. And I've always wanted to go there, like no why i mean like kingdom hearts 3 did that too and i was just like oh my god like i want to just go there just to be there and experience it because it feels like you were like the only person on earth or despite, despite how many people you go with people on earth and you just some people say that it just possibly could be what heaven could maybe be like and i'm just like oh it's just so pretty but like oh my god just to see these two travel and it just felt so weird because everybody was in their distinct like clicks in this movie at the beginning because you have um i gotta hurry up and continue talking because i'm almost <laughs> done with the recording part um you have madoka and elena together you have lala and he um he got a he got it together and then you have uni always by herself because you know you gotta be by yourself sometimes but yeah i, I did like the fact that you know her and prunes were together and the fact is that you know she was being chased because of course what else is going to freaking happen? I mean, she wants to hunt down Blue Cat to the ends of the freaking earth. So I feel like when this show does end um, officially next month, we're probably going to see a part where, yeah, Yuna, um, Uni is still going to be like, not like humanized cat, but she'll still be her regular old cat self that we saw when we went to her planet. And what's her face either might still be chasing her or she might be coming to visit her. I don't know. But, I mean, the first half of this movie was really good. I can't wait to see what the heck is going to happen in the second half. So, yeah. Go ahead and pause the movie, and I will see you guys. Or, really, the video. Uh, I will see you guys in one second for the second half of the movie. Okay. Part two in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Of course she doesn't, but it's the right thing to do, honey. She needs to be protected. See, y'all should have watched out, and I freaking told you.
我。You might just did a sonic boom. Mm -mm. So you ain't gonna go. Okay, hold up. Hold, wait, 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 wait. You said okay. Never mind. There she is. More Star Hunters? How the heck are you gonna stop like a whole bunch? Okay, never mind. You might got it. No, Lala. I know. But you care far much more than she does. Yeah. So you have to do what's best for it.
from Yuma's memories. I mean, if Yuma was to be able to be a planet and it was for good and not for evil, I think possibly he would have used those same memories as well, but... Now there's always a reason. They just turned this into a music video now.
That's why they didn't. They couldn't show that part right there. Why? Because it was a spoiler. I get that. I mean, just showing her looking up into the sky and then immediately to go that part is oh my god, <laughs> so pretty. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you Oh, it was my bottom. Looking like hot to make me go up in this. Oh my god. Yeah. Jesus, man, this movie. Oh, my God. It's too many fields.
Wow! Oh my god, that was it! That was so pretty and beautiful! Oh my god, I can't! Like, Jesus, if you ain't cry, like, mm-mm. God, that was so good. So many feels. Oh my god, <laughs> the last time, I mean, I, like, ball to the walls, like, eyes crying, watery as heck, messy, like, tears, like, I did a hot mess during, like, Bunny Girl Senpai, but I got the feelings of it. I think it was really sweet. It did give me feels to most of the Pokemon movies that I watched as a kid and a little bit of a teenager, and that if I ever wanted to, I could sit and rewatch it, but oh my god. They're probably not gonna be able to, no, okay, this is what I feel like is gonna happen. That pin that you gave Lala, it would be really funny or interesting, but I don't really think they're gonna use it um, for it to be somewhat in one of the last episodes. Maybe, but at the same time, like, they really don't reference the regular series. This thing. This is like what I consider it canon to the series. Yes, a little bit of yes and a little bit of no. It, it's kind of like a canon filler episode in a way. Um, during something way, way, way before um the final boss. But if they actually use that pin in the last few episodes, then that would be really good. Just to like wrap it together because there are some pretty here movies that they have done it. And then there's ones that they haven't. And I think it would be really nice just to, ne really necessary, make it sure, um, to wrap it all together in a nice, neat bow, I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. That was like the most beautiful, like honestly, beautiful behind movie. Even though I haven't seen um, Hugato Pretty Cares movie, I've seen every single movie except Hugato. And then I haven't seen. Which one haven't I seen? I haven't seen the All Stars for this movie or the All Stars for Hugato. So those are the only few movies that I got to see. But that was really freaking gorgeous. Like, my God. Like, oh, too many feels. Like, Jesus, man. I just kind of wish that what they could possibly do is just have them to go see that planet. But because of the fact is we are only, like, several weeks away before this show is done. And we're going to get into the really sad parts, especially with the fact is that, yes, these girls are together for now. But they're all going to be going their separate ways. Like, it's going to be hard to really see Hikaru and Lala eventually leaving each other because they were the two that started out together they met at the same time instead of it being like uh typically like i'm trying to use one for example like a uh, freaking cure whip or even um cure yell or flora where it's just the first cure and then the mascots and then eventually we meet someone else but we met lala at the same time and so it, it's just that relationship between these two it's just gonna be like one of the most hardest like heartbreaking moments for when they have to say goodbye i mean even with everybody else especially like saying saying goodbye to like favorite characters it's the most heartbreaking thing but then at the same time with this you know the world of pretty care they're always coming back in some weird way usually it's because of the movie um but i still kind of wish especially with you know last year's season hugato and them referencing you know futariwa and all the other pretty girls and just they only really get a movie just to see each other. I kind of wish they would do what Aikutsu is currently doing right now. What Aikutsu has done from 2012 up until now, they've had like several different series where it's a different protagonist in each group and all these new girls come in and then you have Aikutsu on Parade, which puts all these girls together. And I understand it is a lot of voice actors and not everybody has time to come in, voice act for a couple of lines, and then leave. I mean, you got to think about this. Like, how much they could possibly be paying these women to 
um, come back and reprise some of these voices. I mean, it's the same thing with, especially, you know, when, um, here in America, when we get dubs, especially for video games and thinking about like, especially with Kingdom Hearts, you know, you have all these Disney characters and these high paying actors and actresses. And sometimes you have to get, um, a knockoff version of whatever character of whoever, like Mandy Moore, who played Rapunzel, who was in the Kingdom Hearts series to someone else and they couldn't get her for Kingdom Hearts 3. And I was like, okay, is that because she's like too much? She's doing too much. She's too big. I get that. But still, you know how you want that certain voice actor to just come back and then they can't? I get that. But I mean, still, it would have been nice. I mean, maybe for like the 20th anniversary because this is the, we're now on the 15th now? 15, no, we're on the 16th. Um, It would just be nice to just have one series where everybody is featured in. Not a movie, because as much as I love the movies, I think a 40-something, maybe even 50-something episode series having every single girl from every single Pretty Cure from Futariwa up until whatever the 20th anniversary series is, um, to have them all. And, I mean, I hope whatever happens in the near future... I mean, we all know my feelings on Huggato Pretty Care. I don't really want to share my feelings on Huggato Pretty Care. I still loved it, but for what they did for the 15th anniversary, yeah, 15th anniversary, I, I still have mixed feelings on it, even though it's been almost a year since the show has aired, and I still had those feelings, but I mean, it was good. The movie was good, too. I enjoyed it a lot. I cried for like a second, but it was good. I had too many feels, and it was so really cute adorable movie and I hope you guys get the chance to watch it or you enjoyed my reaction to it and I hope you had a fun time but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards Star Twinkle Pretty Care the movie Wish Upon a Song of Stars if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially possibly maybe tomorrow um because this is gonna come out tomorrow so maybe either later on tomorrow if the next two episodes get subbed, if they're not out by tomorrow, maybe sometime before the year is up. Because, I mean, it's the 29th and we officially have, like, hold on. We have officially two more days before the year ends. And if I don't get it out on the 30th, I will try my hardest on the 31st because I only really have one show left from 2019 before like officially we're starting into 2020 anime so it really just depends and plus i got patreon shows to do tomorrow so just whenever you see you know star trickle pretty care episodes whatever episodes are missing we're on like the 40 something those two together that's when the next time you see me but until then i will see you guys all next time bye